Okay, so Sages 101. Um, we're going to go and have a siege against these guys, and we're going to build our trebuchets. The siege is using trebuchets, really. Okay. Um, I'm probably not going to take these guys on. I just attacked the city, Jacqueline, I think, to the south uh, with 230 guys, and I got sent packing. Um, so this is just a demonstration. Um, if I don't get axed by Vladian's... Um, before I even get to do the siege, then I will do a little skirmish. I'll attack them and show you what's what. Um, but yeah, this is just this is for my brother who I spoke to and was using trebuchets completely wrong in his sieges. Um, I didn't know what was going on, and I thought, you know, um, I thought everyone knew how to do this. So I'm just putting this up here. Basically, if you want to take on a town or a city and bash down the walls instead of building all of the other siege equipment. Don't bother building the other siege equipment if you're going to do it this way. Um, it's kind of an all or nothing strategy, really. Um, so build your trebuchets. Um, you can see on his walls he's got his catapults built. So the first thing that you need to remember is as soon as your trebuchet is built, hit the pause button. These guys are going to try and axe your trebuchet with the catapults. So click on it. You'll see move to reserve. Click on move to reserve. It disappears. And it's gone away, so they'll still take one shot at it, and you'll still suffer damage from it. I'm sorry, um, but that's the best you can do. That's going to sit in reserve, tucked away neatly, um, while your other trebuchet is built. And time is going to tick on and tick on. These guys are going to come and kill me. Here comes an army, so I'm going to probably... Those guys are going to join up and attack me before I even get there, or maybe they'll sally out with these guys. Who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky. Um, but along comes trebuchet number two. Again, keep your eye on it because as soon as it's built, pop it into reserve. Four catapults all try and kill your trebuchet at the same time. So trebuchets, the reason I'm building trebuchets is they are stronger and tougher than catapults. They take much longer to build, which is why people... Look at all these armies. Am I going to die? I'm going to die for this demonstration. Thank you, bro. But... Um, you want to get, if I get four trebuchets against four catapults, I'm going to win. So if I only get three, it's going to be a little bit more dicey. Put him in reserve as well. It does, it is going to take a while. This is not a tactic to use against big old empires, which have tons of armies to send against you. You'll just end up fighting the armies outside the walls. But if you're on a rebel town, which was what I was trying to get until they signed on to be Vladians, um, but the Vladians don't seem to have many armies they're pretty weak i've been fighting them all game and they basically lost all their territory for most of the game so i don't know how they got these these towns um unless people voluntarily join factions i don't know but they're not attacking me so we might well get away with this last trebuchet is being built like i said we need four against four and the trebuchets will win this town's actually got some crumbled walls as you can see um the reason you build trebuchets is so they can bash down the walls once that's built, click on your other trebuchet spots and then click on the trebuchet and they'll all appear and start shooting at each other. Whack, 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 whack. Normally, um, four catapults against four trebuchets, you'll take out the catapults, they'll build ballistas or more catapults, you'll take them out as well, and then you'll spend another few days just knocking down the walls. But as I said, these guys already have the walls knocked down. Um, and this is the other part of building trebuchets to attack walls. I want to show you an actual assault. Um, like I said, I don't think I'm going to win. Um, I did get sent packing by the last town with 30 extra troops. So I'll give myself my bow again so I can get into the action and show you what else you need to remember once you've got all these trebuchets and you've knocked down the walls, okay? Um, this is something that I learned the hard way from the last couple of towns that I built before I realized what was going on. Um, and that is you need to click on these guys, put your trebuchets out, they'll be out, or you can put them away. Um, you've breached the walls, so your towers and stuff have already gone. Like I said, I don't bother building the towers and the rams because we've knocked down the walls. But the thing that I do bother with now is taking away all the trebuchets. Um, yes, they're going to 
pound the walls some more and they're going to shoot some more troops. But if you remember, I've taken out all these catapults. So there's nothing for the trebuchets really to shoot at except for other troops. And what it's going to do is five or six of my guys are going to get into teams and jump on the trebuchet. And it's going to stay at the back shooting at the base for no reason instead of attacking it. And I can do with those extra 40 troops where they need to be. So if you've knocked down the walls, get rid of the trebuchets, for the love of God. Um, all my archers are also going to spread out, um, and I'm going to put them by one of the openings, but one of the breaches. There's no point spreading yourself out too much and attacking all the breaches at once. Um, I've got another little trick. So if you wanted to know how to use trebuchets, by all means, uh, that's it. Uh, build four, hide them, attack. Um, the catapults and stuff, and then knock down the walls, and then hide the trebuchets when you're actually in this deployment area. Um, if you want to see another couple of tricks, stick around, otherwise that's it. Thanks for uh, Trebuchet 101. I th it's, it's pretty much the basics of trebuchets. But here we go, I'm actually getting my troops as a little extra tactic, a little freebie, bonus round. Um, the archers are spread out, and they're all against one breach, so they're clearing the walls around that one breach at the moment, and what I've got is my troops and cavalry in shield formation, and they are following me, and I'm doing a little loop around the back, so instead of just them marching towards the breach and getting shot up as they get there, I'm giving my archers time to clear off the walls by having my infantry and my cavalry just follow me around closer to the back, and then they'll do a little bit of a U-turn, and then they'll eventually find me at this wall. And I'm going to go near the breach, but not right up to it. And I'm going to sort of hang around and see if I can clear the walls off a little bit, just for the fun of it, while my troops catch up to me. You can see on the top right, I'm losing, you know, an archer or a crossbowman every now and then. But my troops in shield wall formation and coming up slowly after my archers have had a chance to clear this side of the tower, this side of the town, they haven't taken any casualties yet. They're just marching on up. Archers are doing their thing, I'm doing my thing, shooting and stuff. We're going to get slowly, slowly closer to this breach, and trick number three, I suppose, if you count the archers all being at one breach, I'm going to put my infantry and cavalry in front of this breach. I am not going to press charge. I am not going to put them in the breach itself um, or anything like that, because the defenders da -da -da -da, will come charging out if you're in close enough range they'll come outside and they'll go around in a little circle and attack your guys that are at the wall. As they're doing that, they're opening up their backs to my archers, so they're getting shot at the back, they're getting surrounded by my troops on my side of the wall instead of my guys going through and getting surrounded by their troops on their side of the wall. Um, now at this point I'm looking at that troop meter as well as shooting this guy in the face, because he's shooting my guys in the face. Um, and normally I get these infantry, um, or cavalry I think they are, to come back. I would I'd sort of put them back in formation and wait for the guys inside to charge out again, but they seem to be doing alright. They must be um, noobs, uh, all green troops inside this town, um, because they haven't really killed everyone that's gone inside yet. So what I might do instead yeah, there we go. They're pushing him out. Have a bit of a hack. I might actually get my guys to charge. I just might get everyone to charge in. Because... They've done alright so far. Normally... <laughs> this isn't a great example, it turns out. Normally, um, they will. I will let these guys charge out. Uh, two or three times. You'll kill... 20 or 30 of them. Depending on how good their troops are. Each time and how quickly they run back in. Um, sometimes they will charge out and attack your guys on your side of the wall and they will just keep on attacking until every one of them is dead and then inside the wall they'll just replace them with fresh troops and they'll line up so you just get pretty close use yourself as bait if you need to draw them out they'll come to your side of the of the wall again and just axe them the next lot but sometimes the better troops they kind of retreat after 10 or 20 are dead and then they in an orderly fashion they'll retreat and then they'll come back out again. Um, but 
I think I made a right call here, um, because my guys are walking over them completely. I wonder if I can make this jump. No, they've definitely fixed jumps in the game. You can't jump anywhere if you've got armor on. Um, looks like my town. Um, again, a handy hint that I, I saw from a awesome YouTuber that does Mountain Blade stuff. Um, God, I have to remember his name. Um, is the count, the tally count, death count on the top right. You can change that to just symbols in the normal gameplay option menu instead of giant displays detailing exactly who's dead, which you don't need. Um, yeah, I think I've got this. My town. Shoot some guys in the back as they go. Huh. Well, I'll be buggered. Okay, so that was the trebuchet routine. Um, used really effectively. <laughs> Apparently. Um, I was not expecting to get this town. Um, oh well. Last 20 in the keep, send troops. Bob's your uncle. Ba -ba, I got a town. That's that. Um, thanks for watching. Um, use trebuchets. Save yourself building all those towers and battering rams. As long as you got the time and they don't have a billion armies to attack you with. Caveat. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.